Yes, and indeed you do. It's just me, Scotty McClue. I thought I'd pop up to say a quick hi to you, see what's happening. The time just coming up to half past five, and we can have a quick half hour together and see what is what. So welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McClue live on TikTok just for you. If you're scrolling through, stop right now because you've reached your destination. This is where you should be. Jake Alexander has just joined us. Jake, welcome. Welcome, 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 I say from me, Scotty McClue. Dick, you do, how are you? We're very well. Lovely to have you with us, Jake, and thank you for coming and joining us. How amazing is this on TikTok Live? Just what we're looking for. Uh, dinky do I see every day the wonderful Maria Knight has just joined us welcome Maria lovely to have you with us and a very very warm welcome to you and of course a massive massive thank you for all your support kindness and generosity I say what's for dinner Ross for me tonight am I having chicken tonight and uh, courgette fried in butter so there we are. So that's what's on the go tonight. I can tell you. Follow us as soon as you come on. We've got a lot to get through tonight, guys, and so little time to do it in. Follow us and share the video. Have a look at the TikTok videos. Very, very important. I'm always doing new TikToks for you, and I wanted you to have a right good look at some of them. If some of you want to go and like some of them, that would be a real help. We need followers and we need likes. Really nice. Lovely evening, Scotty. Hope you're well. Ben, ding. Thank you do. Isa, how lovely to have you with us, Isa. And a very warm welcome to Scotty McClue, live on TikTok just for you. I thought I'd just pop up perhaps half an hour, guys. As you know, these are very ad hoc pop-ups and uh, we just get going. Here we are, Scotty. Ah, Frank, how lovely to hear from you. How was your day? The wonderful Frank McElroy has just joined us. Very fine broadcaster. Dinky-doo, Scotty. I hope you're well. Dinky-doo, Maria. I am well, my darling. And as I say, very, very grateful, but lovely to have you with us. There we are. My grandfather's a huge fan of you. Say hello, Lucas. Hello, Lucas, to Grandpa. Absolutely. Tell him Scotty McClue says dinky-doo. Hiya, Lucas. I hope you're enjoying these broadcasts. A little bit different from the phone-ins, obviously, just simply because we don't have the callers. But we've got beautiful, beautiful people live on TikTok just for you, dinky-doo. Fantastic. Who else have we got here? Good evening, my good man. Good evening, everybody. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff, I say, dinky-doo. Uh, just sorting out one or two little trolls coming on here. Uh, dinky-doo, how are you? We're absolutely fabulous, Jake. Chris has joined us. Hello, sir. How are you? Hello, Chris. Always good to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Fantastic stuff. He loves your hat. Oh, thank you. Hello, says Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Dinky-doo. That is fabulous. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Just dealing with a wee troll here. Putting him down the swanee. There it goes. Fantastic. Afternoon chat. Great day for it. Anniversary of the Battle of the Somme today. 1st of July. 1st of July 1916. Am I right? 1st of July 1916. The Battle of the Somme. The whistle's all going. <whistles> Was it 7 o'clock in the morning? Everybody over the top. Is that right? Tell me if I've got it right. Stuart B. Thank you, do. You know, I like to get the history absolutely spot on. There we are. Thanks for sharing the video, guys. Very, very much appreciated. Goodbye, Scotty. Goodbye, Ross. Off you pop. Thank you, do. Ross has been summoned for his tea, I would imagine, because it's uh, 27 minutes to 6 o'clock in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Guys, can you tell me how the lighting is, please? Uh, because that's just natural light. And I've got quite a good camera. Dinky do hashtag flow tie all uppercase. I thank you, Shakaroni. Can everybody get sharing this right now? Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. If you know any TikTokers, get them on. Following, sharing, watching, chatting, joining in, having fun.
That's what it's about. Have a nice day. I thanks JK. Fantastic. I, I'm having the most amazing days because I love you guys on TikTok. You are amazing. How amazing is that? Flotai, more like Hotai, Daniel Green. Absolutely. So what would that be? The Honourable Officer of the Internet. There we are, the Honourable Officer of the Internet. How's your day been, Scotty? Dinky do. What a lovely sunny day, Scotty. How have you spent it? Detan. I have spent it with wonderful people. Absolutely, as I do every single day. I get on the telephone. I get on to the various platforms and I talk to the amazing people. Honourable Officer of the Internet, got here eventually. You did, Frank. Well done. What do you discuss on your radio shows? Everything, Andy. You see, the shows are interesting. Specialists used to say, what's your show about? I would say, talk. Yeah, but what's it about? Talk. Yeah, but I mean, how do you... Scotty McClure, talk show. End of. Finito. There it goes. 29 years on Monday night. Most successful talk show ever on British radio. That's what it's all about. Dinky do, Scotty. Greetings from the port of Valencia. We love it, Neil. How amazing is that? I'm waiting for the winds of winter. Yes, Daddy chills, says Dada. I thank you, Dada. You chill too, Dada. That's what it's all about. Come and join us, guys. If you've just arrived, you're watching Scotty McClue. I am the first lord of the internet. Hashtag Floatai. Is it possible to get a caption saying Scotty McClure across the bottom of the screen. How would I go about that, I ask you? Gibraltar stays British. What an honor that we had Her Majesty in Glasgow. Brilliant, wonderful, wasn't it? I saw her yesterday. I think the song was Daddy Cool, not Daddy Chill. That's it. Jolly old chap. I thank you, Drummond. Uh, greetings from the Netherlands. Ah, you're upstanding. Come in to us. Wiltjern Kuppete Hebben, I'm Wiving Mein Klompen. Thy shall kneel before yours truly, Shadow B. Thank you. Haven't seen you for a while. No, Angela, where have you been? Because we've been popping up and talking to the nation. Absolutely, but we need to get the word out there now if we're to move the TikTok lives on a bit. There we are. Hey, have you seen any trolls in Dingley Dell? How is Roddy? Oh, Roddy is, well, Roddy has come out, but he's gone a bit quiet. I think he doesn't dress in as bright colors as he used to. What about that, I say? I'm just looking out the window at a blackbird, the ground feeders, the last song of the day. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. So there we are. Huge churning butter in a field vibes. Congrats on coming out, Roddy, we see. Absolutely. Taking a drive through Mary Hill. Ah, Frank, I know Mary Hill so well. You've got the Queen Margaret Drive, and you've got the Balmore Road, and you've got the Duncruen Street, the Shakespeare Street, the Garriott Road, the Kirtley Bridge. You know, wonderful. And along to the 4th and Clyde Canal, turned in at the barracks. We like that. I hope you're doing okay. We are Lucy. Yes, thank you very much. Where the shopping centre is in Mary Hill, that used to be Mary Hill Central Station. And the trains came in sideways to the road. Keeping my eye on someone called Andy Murray, absolutely. Have you flicked through Scotty McClue's TikTok videos and seen the Andy Murray one from Washington, D.C.? And an international fan shouting to Andy, Dinky do, Andy, from Scotty McClure. Amazing. There we are. Falchi, Falchi, Yasu, 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 Greece. Any chance of a shout out? Cream, you know, there's always a chance of a shout out on Scotty McClure's lives. It's what we do. I want uh, advice on the lighting, please. Does it look bright enough for you? Do tell. Remember, it's mainly highly intelligent people on here. If you are forced to confront somebody, I don't know who you're talking about there, Duke, in hand-to-hand -hand combat, who would win? McClue always wins. Remember that. Yes, very important. Now then, Scotty, 
I'm going to volunteer to like the videos. Shakaroni, you are always such a real top man. A real top man. That would be a great job. Guys, would anybody else like to volunteer to go and like the Scotty McClue videos? We're a bit short of likes in the last week. You know, and I thought, I ha oh, oh, are things slowing down here? Have we got enough followers? Why is everybody not following when we've had 600,000 viewers? That's what I find difficult at times to get my head round. Scott and the Brave, I mean, are you enjoying the lives? That's what we need to look at. I know short time, Scotty. Catch up soon. Have a great day, a great night. Speak soon. Frank McElroy, dinky do. Take care of your dear self, sir. Scotland the Brave, absolutely eggs egg some. Hello, Scotty, dinky do from Thomas. Thomas Vaughan. So you are a very distinguished German. Hello, Scotty McClue. How are you, my friend? What dinky do? Lachmach. Lachman, lovely to have you with us. I promised I'll come back. Here I am. Thomas Vaughn, we love it. Dinky do, you're back with us. Be right back. It's a hashtag liking spree. Ah, guys, go on a liking spree for Scotty McClue's TikTok videos. Can somebody also get over and check out the Scotty McClue YouTube channel? Very important. Dinky do. Dinky do from Oklahoma, Scotty. Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain, where the waving sweet does sure smell sweet, and the wind comes right behind the rain. Whoo! I know we belong to the land. Right. Fantastic. Bit warm, just a bit of a bit of a mop down there. I have a German surname because my dad's side's German. So I'm German. Everybody's German. Everybody's Irish. Everybody's Anglo-Saxon. Everybody, oh, I saw your Andy Murray video, it was dinky do, not dinky do, Angela, did you like that? Guys, get a look for the Andy Murray video. Also, see if you can send round, because I think it's going to go viral, a little one that talks about Crean Larich. You'll see it, I just mentioned Crean Larich, and uh, you'll see it maybe half a dozen videos back. Hello again, I was here yesterday, you were Brog Brack, and we loved having you with us. Very, very important. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Jack. Lovely to have you. Hi, Scotty. Hello. Dinky do. So there you are. I think Andy Murray is an incredible sportsman. We were talking last night uh, on the live. It was a very late live last night. What I'm doing, folks, is one or two experimental times to see when's the best time for you. I want to catch as many of you as possible, and I also want to know when it suits you to have 5, 10, 15 minutes with McClue. You know, that's what it's all about. Hi, Scotty. Dinky do. Come and join us as soon as you possibly can, and uh, like as soon as you come on and follow. Very, very important you follow. If you're scrolling, stop scrolling right now, because you've reached the one you want to be with. All right? Very, very important. I'm English, German, settled in the U.S., mid-1700s. Steve, is that not amazing? Tell us again where you are in the United States of America. When is Independence Day? Is it this weekend? Is it tomorrow? I need to know. McClure needs to know all these things. When is Independence Day? Dinky do. Guten Abend, good evening, sir. Ja, guten Abend, ja, ja. Uh, nicht Deutsch sprechen, ich bin ein Ausländer. Nicht verstehen. Lovely to have you with us, sir. Back from my liking spree, please check. I will. Anniversary of the Battle of the Somme today, says user 893. Yeah, that would be the 1st of July, 1916. Was it 7 o'clock in the morning? Was that when they went over the top? R.I.P. to those fallen heroes of the Somme. We owe them so much. That's a pipe tune called the Battle of the Somme. And I think it's appropriate we should have it tonight. 
Happy Canada. Yes, happy Canada Day. Did you ever meet anyone involved in World War I? Both my grandfathers were in World War I. And I met so many people in my life who were in World War I. My father was, uh, my grandfather on my mother's side was, I think, at the Somme as a Highland soldier. My other grandfather was at Gallipoli in 1915. I mean, they did the full stretch of the war, 1418. The war to end all wars, the great war for civilization. 20 years later, they were at it again. Amazing tune, Scotty. Do you like that one, Shakarone? There's what it's about. What did they say about World War I? Did they get any injuries? Oh, almost a third of a generation perished on the Somme today, all these years ago. So how long how long ago is that? This is the 105th anniversary. Wow. 105 years ago. And I knew people who were in the trenches of the Somme. How amazing. And when they got back, they had lice in the pleats of their kilts, and they had to run a candle up the seam to clobber the lice. They were lousy in the trenches. Dreadful, dreadful human suffering. Did you do, Scotty? My day out with my close female friend went very well. MSN, I knew it would. I just knew it would. How amazing is that? Amazing tune. So there we go. Fantastic, everybody. Um, what are your thoughts on the Northern Irish independence? I don't know. It's an interesting one that I'm not sure that the South would like to pick up the tab for the North. And although they've been thrown under a bus with Brexit, does Britain, do Do the Northern people still want to be British? I don't know. You see, does Belfast want to be run from Dublin? London Derry might be better, or Derry, depending on your point of view. I meant the sport. Oh, yes, indeed. Are you Scottish, Lewis? Nothing gets past you, chum. Well done. Uh, where are you? I'm in Broxburn. I'm just a little bit further over to the west, Lewis. There we are, across the M8. Now then, economically and politically, reunification could be very bad for Ireland. Well, this is it. We don't want to drop Ireland in the Schecht when, uh, you know, it's done so well for, uh, when do we say, the last 99 years. You see, people get used. I once suggested to somebody, would Pakistan and India ever want to reunify? I said, oh, no, 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 not now, not now, not now, no. It's been too long. And I thought, well, that's true. I mean, how long has it been since India went? Uh, it'll be, it'll be 74 years since Indian independence. Am I right, freedom at midnight? Three visually impaired mice, three visually impaired mice, three visually impaired mice. See how they run. They all ran under an omnibus. The driver, he kicked up an awful fuss. They came out the other side, none the worse. Those three visually impaired mice. How woke is that? Woo! Hi from Ireland. Hello from Johannesburg. We love you in Joburg. Are you, what, about 50, 60 miles inland? Is that correct? Scotty, I'm sending lots of hugs and kisses. Wolf, please, you're such a lovely, lovely person. It was the first Tour de France cycle event on this day in 1903. So that's coming up for 118 years. Um, how would you guys describe unconditional love without using the word unconditional? Uh, just love. Proper love is love. but well, not even proper love. Love is love. There we are. Are you for an independent Scotland, Scotty? Um, IWS, economically, I think Scotland could do very well repairing the damage that's been done over the last 313 years to the Scottish economy. But I am worried about some of the people who want independence because they're rather strange and some of them have a fairly low IQ. I was arguing with them on another platform today about how they need to embrace the monarchy and that the monarchy is Scottish. And oh, the vitriol that came out 
from these halfwits was shocking. Do you know what agape means? Yes, I do indeed, agape, so your mouth could be agape. It's open, he was agape. Scottish nationalists seem to hate the Queen, but you see, that puts them on the back burner. You know, it's it's vital that they get into their heads that we must never, ever meddle with the crowd. And they can't come up with a single argument against the monarchy. There is no argument against the monarchy. Virtually self-financing, incredible people, the Queen, an outstanding public servant, you know, 95, still putting in a full shift. She just lost her husband, who was just coming up 100. You know, and would be 100 now. You know, uh, so there we are. It's coming home, it's coming home, it's football's coming home. Warzone, where is it coming home to? We don't know where you're from. There we are. What time is it in your country? Marine Corps, I salute you, sir. Uh, now, could Gibraltar become independent after Brexit? I don't know if Gibraltar would want to become independent. Brexit should just never have happened. A massive error of judgment giving in to a handful of hooray Henrys wanting to avoid tax, you know? I mean, the, the, you know, you see, the British people just got worked from the back, but a lot of the xenophobes, the off garnets, were up for it. Oh, we are country back. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Anyway, we're not into that. Right, you Scottish laddie, where's the iron brew? You bad man. We love the iron brew. The Queen was at the iron brew factory. And uh, Prince William, are you a Tory? No, I'm apolitical, Finlay. I don't even know what a Tory is or would look like or sound like or act like. So there you are. I am just your everyday average Scots person who is switched on to how the world works. There we are, Marine Corsman. Thank you, sir. Marine Corsman is sending me TikToks. He is so very, very, very kind. I thank you. Very kind of you. Have you met the Queen? Uh, no, I haven't met the Queen, but um, I've uh, been uh, beside her son on an important occasion. Follow us as you can, guys. Uh, I've, I've, I've uh, been very close to Prince Charles at an occasion. Elizabeth is a descendant of Henry VIII's sister Margaret of Scotland, Margaret Tudor. Yes, the marriage of the thistle and the rose, and then the union of the crowns. Now, what the halfwits don't understand is that the monarchy is essentially Scottish, but I think the monarchy's PR people need to stop saying, you know, Queen of England, because you think, well, what about Scotland and Northern Ireland and Wales and the Commonwealth? So they need to drop that, you know, they get a bit carried away. Uh, yesterday, somebody had said that Kate, William's wife, the Duchess of Cambridge, would make a great Queen of England. And I thought, but what about the rest of us? You know, they are German. No, you see this rubbish you're coming out with? They are German. The royal bloodlines are incredibly impressive. Prince Charles has got Stuart blood. Um, the Queen's father, Robert II, right back to Robert II. So this, they are German. You know, that's not the case. I mean, you might be German. I might be German. You know, we're all, we've all been black. So you need to drop the xenophobia. A comment like they are German is trying to imply they are lesser than they are, whereas it actually has the opposite effect. If somebody said to me, that car's German, I would say, oh, wow, let me see the engine. That'd be beautiful. Uh, would you be happy if Scotland went independent and the monarchy relocated to Scotland? Now you're talking user 893. I think that we should do up Edinburgh Castle. If I was the first minister of Scotland, I would walk out of Edinburgh Castle. You know, that's where my office would be. There we go. So I would like that very much. Which is better, Jaguar or Audi? Well, of course, uh, if I remember right, didn't BMW take over, uh, was it Land Rover, Jaguar Land Rover? There was a great setup. I mean, I'm a Jaguar man. 
So I'll not really easily be swayed away from that. But Audi are an outstanding motor vehicle. You know, there's no doubt about it. But the Jaguars, once you know your way around them. Need to pick up after some family news. This is a welcome addition to the evening. Ryan, lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do, fantastic. You press on, dear boy, if you're dashing. Uh, where are you from, says Danny? I am from Scotland, Danny. But uh, don't let that spoil your evening. No, they, they are brilliant. They are brilliant, absolutely. In fairness, you're the only Scottish nationalist I've ever known that likes the monarch respect. Well, every Scottish nationalist needs to adore and embrace the monarchy. Otherwise, independence will be toast. You know, now, think about it. Let's think logically. Say, for instance, enough Scottish people said they wanted independence. Say they then all voted for it and it was a majority. Yeah. What's going to happen? They're going to need a new Scotland bill. So Westminster has to go along with this and draft a new Scotland bill. That bill can only become law with the agreement of Her Majesty. Her Majesty the Queen has graciously granted the people of Scotland parliamentary sovereignty. Right? Parliamentary sovereignty. She retains ultimate sovereignty. She is the monarch. She's also the head of state for Scotland. She's our sovereign lady, the queen. And uh, that's what it's all about, as they say. Now, just leave that as it is, and you can split the parliaments. Westminster, Holyrood. Done. Okay? You never, ever meddle with the crown. Now, these halfwits are saying... We don't want it. We want a republic. That's just going to guarantee that independence fails because you don't meddle with the crown. The motto of the Scottish crown, Nemo me impun la caisse. Nobody attacks me with impunity. In other words, you mess with the crown, you're finished. Yeah, it makes absolute sense. So I think if you're a genuine Scottish national person, and remember, it's not the Scottish Nationalist Party. It's the Scottish National Party. That's the difference. Uh, so there you are. If you're a, a, a genuine uh, Scottish person and you do want independence, as I think economically it'd be good, then you must support Her Majesty, the Queen as head of state. All right, sorted. So there we are. I'm Irish. Think you do? Will Doyle. What a lovely, lovely thing to be able to say. Uh, which is better? Oh, we've done that one. Dinky you do. Uh, Great Britain has been a collection of ethnicities for centuries. The xenophobia is dumbfounded. DKB. DKB, what a wise, wise person you are. You're 100% correct. You know, I've been Britain is all ethnicities. Remember, there's no such thing as Britain as a country. It's a landmass containing four countries, people of all ethnicities. So Norwegian, Roman, Italian, French, German, Anglo, Anglo-Saxon, Scottish, Scoti, Pictish, Celtic, whole lot. You've got all that. And why not, I say, Opel, we love the Opels, yes. Scotty, my doctors have rejected the, uh, I threatened the Court of Human Rights. Oh, Paddy, well done. There we are. This is Paddy saying the doctors have rejected the non-vaccine no operation. I threatened with the Court of Human Rights. Very, very interesting. Yes, indeed. My family is from East Kilbride. How wonderful. I wonder where they were from originally, because East Kilbride is one of the three Scottish new towns. Yes, made in the late 50s, early 60s. Uh, so you've got East Kilbride, Cumbernauld, oh no, four, Livingston, Glenrothes. <coughs> wonderful. Jaguar's an awesome car with mostly 3.6 litre twin turbo, and they're very beautiful. Yes, but Marine Cosman. McClue goes back a bit. How about this for awesomeness? A straight 6 XK 4.2, originally a 3.4, 1948 engine, 
still around in cars in what, about 1985, 86? You can still get one. What about this? A 5.3 litre V12 petrol engine. Yes. Big twin there. Um, around from 1969. And still going big style in 1992. So an engine for 23 years. Powering Jaguars and Daimler cars outstanding engine the v12 is a little bit complex to work on but it's beautiful beautiful the 42 a lovely thing as well the 34 not quite the same power but very very good there we are so very awesome i think they pushed it when they bored them out to 42 though was it true sean connery fought off five muggers I wouldn't be surprised, yes. I wouldn't like to be in the wrong side of Big Sean. <laughs> a great man. Yeah, my aunt used to work in a shop and uh, she looked up from the counter. Standing in front of her was Sean Connery, this great big handsome man. They were filming from Russia with love. That incredible, guys. Can you say hi to my friend Izzy? I can, Ethan. No problem at all. Thank goodness Megan the Manipulator and Harry won't be in the throne. They made their bed. They can lie in it. Ryan, absolutely. I do feel sorry for Harry that he's so bitter because, but from Megan's point of view, that family gave her everything. You know, I mean, she'd come from a setup, you know, where she had to fight to get out of it. And that family gave her everything and then got dumped on. That was bad news. That was bad news. There we are. But I was very glad they said it wasn't either the Prince Philip or the Queen that made any comments. Vosbrung doch technique. Andy, yeah. And Scotty, what's happening, my man? Did you do Bob McElroy? How lovely to have you with us from Long Island in New York. Dinky do, I say. These lives are incredible. You people are beautiful. Amazing. I'm amazed that it's not wider spread throughout TikTok. I would like to see everyone on TikTok joining us for a Scotty McClue live. I don't know how we go about doing that. But if you can help, send it round. Follow me. If you haven't followed, do follow. It's worth it, I say. Now, there we are. Follow us as soon as you possibly can. Ahoy, Scotty. Ahoy there. Uh, Scotty, how are you today? We are dinky-doo, Skippy. Let's settle a debate. Lancashire is a far superior county than Yorkshire. In what way, Wardy? You have to explain yourself. You'd need to qualify that because you're actually on quite thin ice. I know them both. I've worked in them both. I love them both. Uh, and there are different aspects to them. So in what way would you say... Lancashire, the red rose, was superior to Yorkshire, the white rose. Going back to the Wars of the Roses. Uh, woo! There we go. Guys, can you watch every one of my TikTok videos and send them round? They're just a bit of fun. Keza, thank you for my beautiful red rose. I absolutely love it. Oh, my Lord. Dinky do. How we got, how is the frame not a Tootsie Roll wrapper? Tell us more, Marine Corps. Have a lovely evening, Scotty. Deck you be. Thank you for joining us. Dinky do, you have a lovely evening. Top, top, top person. Beautiful people on here, no doubt about it. Scotty, what cities despise the English? None. Nobody should ever despise the English. I think they did despise the imperialism side, the colonial side. To England, but you see, Scotland ran the empire for them. That's why it was so successful. The Scots are amazing because they don't uh, buy into the class system. But uh, for any Scot to cheek up about the monarchy, I just am so ashamed of these people. There we are. Second Lord of the Internet checking in, Bob McElroy. What a top man. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to send that the second time. Don't worry, Marine Corps man. You can do no harm in my eyes. Thoughts on Shetland and Orkney threatening to leave and join England if independence happens. That's very strange. Both Shetland and Orkney are incredibly autonomous places. They know that they're far away from the mainland. They know that, uh, you know, they're kind of on their own. But uh, let's never underestimate the Shetlanders and the Arcadians. They are a very tough race. They have to be. They're bowed double with the wind, if you'll pardon the expression. I'm not talking flatulence. I'm talking the wind in Orkney, because there aren't that many trees. Beautiful green island, and the wind is very strong, and it kind of bends you down. Woo! The accent, woo! There we go. Fantastic. Hello from the Gold Coast in Australia, Keza. I just derive so much joy from all of the world getting together. You know, it is just absolutely fabulous. We're talking to America one second, to Australia the next, to Scotland, to England, to Ireland, to Wales, you know, to the Arctic, the Antarctic, Russia, China, Japan. It's just beautiful. The Philippines, you know, America, right across America. I've walked on the site with the Scottish, my experience, Glaswegians don't like the English. I think, Paddy, they don't understand them because they haven't traveled enough. You see, I've lived and worked all over England, and I adore people, you know, and I, Scotty McClure has got like a passport to go anywhere in the UK and be welcomed. So whether it's Scotland, England, Ireland, Northern Ireland, Wales, anywhere Scotty McClure goes, they put out the red carpet for me because I've entertained them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, one does not put a barber jack in the washing machine. One does not. You know, one re-waxes it. There we are. Are you French? Non, je regrette, mais je ne parle pas français très vite. Si tu parles longtemps, peut-être je comprends. Je m'appelle Scotty McClou. Je suis le professeur de français. Uh, le TikTok. Woo. So there we are. Non, ce n'est pas français. Uh, je suis écossais. Oui Hello, Scotty from Windsor, the Coldstream Guards again. Changing of the guard! Cold streams! Shum! March. Cold streams escort for the colour. Slow march. <laughs> Fantastic. You remind me of my dad, some most nostalgia. Paddy from Liverpool. We love you in Liverpool. We love the bones of you. That's what they used to say. Scotty, I love your show on the radio every night. Radio City Magic. Fantastic. Yeah. You're a breath of fresh air, Scotty. Dinky Dooty, Scotty, the War of the Roses. Still going on, you know. Lancashire and Yorkshire. The Plantagenets. <laughs> Wonderful. US Aussies make fun of yous. Yous. Now, you see that term yous. The plural of you is you. Why do people say yous? I've never, ever understood it. Um, when I worked with Glaswegian guys, the site, they hated me. They might talk to me because I was a Scouser. Listen, Scousers are effectively Scots. If we were rebuilding Hadrian's Wall, I would rebuild it just north of Watford and the rest of Great Britain, the big bit of the land mass, would be, uh, would be Scotland. And I think everyone would go for that. Yorkshire would be in Scotland, Lancashire would be in Scotland, the Midlands would be in Scotland, Birmingham would be in Scotland, Wolverhampton Wolves would be in Scotland, Coventry would be in Scotland, 
Sheffield would be in Scotland, Leeds would be in Scotland, Hull would be in Scotland, Newcastle would be in Scotland, Carlisle would be in Scotland. Carlisle, we love Carlisle. Anybody ever been to Carlisle? The Brits suck at cricket. They do nowadays, Keza. That's because of the, you know, supreme power of the West Indies and Australia and folk like that. The Brits just haven't kept up to the same extent. But uh, I wouldn't cheek up to WG Grace about that. Yes, indeed. Or Don Bradman. Australia, Sir Don Bradman. Was that right? I love your accent. Uh, do you know Princess Diana would have been 60? Angela. It's been splashed all over the press. Now, that we saw has been dead for 24 years. And the newspapers still can't sell a newspaper. Uh, you know, they really struggle. But if you put a picture of Princess Diana in to this day, then they'll manage to sell a few papers. I love your accent. I thank you, Yuka. So there we are. Yes, she would have been 60. Are you French or some of No. Would you date a trans woman? Uh, well, it depends what stage of trans you're talking. <laughs> you know? I mean, I might have a trans friend. Well, I do have trans friends, shall I say. But I don't know that I'd partner one. I don't know. You never just don't know. The North Shore of Long Island's called the Gold Coast also. Well, Bob, is that not because there are some serious dollars on Long Island? Am I right or am I right? Tell me, Bob. Hey, Murakan here. How come all Scots hating on the UK? I love the UK. It's a classy place. No Scot should ever be allowed to hate. Now, we've just brought in a new thing about hate crime. So let's use it and anybody hating the English into the slammer with them. That's what I would say. Anybody cheeking up about the monarchy, into the slammer with them. And many Americans wish they were from the UK. User 893, you're absolutely right. They do indeed. Do you know that America wanted a king after independence, but they didn't want the Hanoverian succession? That's why they'd gone for the War of Independence. But they did invite Prince Charles Edward Stuart. Bonnie Prince Charlie to be the king of America. And I think America still misses a king. People don't know, but the Scots helped the Brits during the British Empire, Paddy. Oh, yes, they did, Paddy. Wow, did they not just. Trump liked Scotland. He put a golf course there, but he wanted you all to remain British. Yeah, but I think we could talk to Donald. You see, everything's a conversation. I don't know much about Uncle Joe. But uh, Donald was quite an interesting character. I think a lot of Americans would like Donald back as your next POTUS. Am I right or am I right? Do tell. Spill the beans, I say. Who we got here? Slange from Oklahoma. <laughs> Oklahoma, Slange. Slange. Lovely to have you with us in Dinkiru. Paddy says, I love the bones of you, Scotty. You're a gent. You're a gent as well, Paddy. Fantastic. Scouse, lovely. I used to just stay in the road in Manchester. I love the positivity you give. Much love, Alfie. I thank you. I think positive is the only way to travel. I always have done since birth. I've only had one hiccup in my life, and that was a very, very bad man took my life savings away in a business deal. And apart from that, you know, that's the only bad man I have ever met in my life. And I did tell somebody this recently. They said, well, be careful, Scotty. There's a lot of them out there. But we need to get bad people being good again. Uh, I gave up on that one because uh, it was just so damaged. I don't get y'all, Scots. I'd love to be from the UK. Amazing country. Now, it's not that user. You haven't lived in Scotland for the last... 313 years and seen been a cash cow for Westminster, given them uh, 75 billion pounds a year and get only 28 billion back. Slang in Brooklyn, yours. Yeah, Brooklyn. My great grandmother's from Lancashire, Keza. 
you will be filled with all sorts of mystic joy. Yes, Lanka is a very, very powerful mystic county. In the US now, our society is so divided, it's sad to see the UK going the same with their independence. No, no, Westminster's to blame for any political fragmentation because they pushed through Brexit against the will of three countries. Four countries brought kicking and screaming out of Europe. The world's top trading block. Oh, Scotty, what a lovely place to visit in Scotland. Paddy, dinky do. Call England and tell them to free Scotland. I think that's what's needing done. It's a conversation. As I say, y'all be careful what you wish for. Better to be united. User 893, tell me more. Why do you think it's better? Because you need to back that up. Remember, Scotland was independent for thousands of years, and it's only been unionized for 313, and that was built on very shaky sand. A lot of jiggery-pokery, bribery, corruption. The House of Orange is still going, the House of the Netherlands and Ireland. Angela, absolutely. The only thing is King Billy was, he was bad, bad, bad news. That man, oh, front page of the tabloids. My dad always said you learn something new every day, and then you die and forget it all. <laughs> Your dad was a man of great wisdom. The only good thing I can seriously inform you, when you die... You have just gone from this life's journey on to the next one. And you have all sorts of wisdom with you. And you will be coming back. Do you like a little drink at the weekend? No, I don't big long fox because I don't drink alcohol for the last six, seven years, something like that. Thoughts on James Bond are being a black woman. Well, it's interesting. Because one of the things about so-called equality and box ticking is the world sees through it. And I think it's offensive to black women to say, would you like to be used as a box ticking exercise? Same as it's offensive to say, we need to get more women in the boardroom for equality reasons. Just get them in if they're female. Yeah, but what about their abilities? That nah, doesn't matter. Don't worry about that. Let's tick the boxes. Because what happens is you're ending up with people that don't necessarily have the experience that uh, another colleague might have. But they're being given the job because they've got. You see what I mean? So there you are. Good evening, Scotty. I hope you're well this fine day. I would be very insulted if somebody said, I want a flat-hatted Scotsman for this job. Well, Scotty McClue, it doesn't matter who he is, just get him. You know what I mean? Scotty, you should be to the land of the free and the home of the brave, you should come. 893, that might well be on the agenda. Yes, indeed. The Gold Coast is named for the warm and bright gold beaches. When we're talking the Gold Coast, are we talking America or the Gold Coast in Australia? Is there not also the Gold Coast? in West Africa. Is Nigeria not the Gold Coast? It's very mixed here, low, middle, high class. Bob, how do you define class in America? Consumption of goods and services, dollars. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I've met probably a good number of the richest people in the world financially. And I said to somebody, so-and-so came over and spoke to me tonight. And I said, and I don't know why they did it, because there was a lot of more important people around. Somebody said, Scotty, you're interesting. You look interesting. You sound interesting. You are interesting. The reason that person came and spoke to you is because he knew everyone else. He sees them at every single function. And I thought, well... There could be some truth in that because I genuinely am not bothered to me. People are people. And whether they're... I love the little poem that goes, isn't it strange that princes and kings and those who fly on outstretched wings? Yes. Isn't it strange that princes and kings and those that fly on outstretched wings? Um, now, how does the next bit go? 
are makers of eternity, for each is given a bag of tools and a book of rules. Each to forge ere time has flown a stumbling block or a stepping stone. There we are. Isn't that interesting? There we go. It was my mother that had that little card. King George Washington. Absolutely. King George Washington. Yes. And a lot of the old Americans were Scots. You know, that's what it's like. I like the PlayStation. Do you like the PlayStation? I don't play it. It's, I really don't have the time. Sleepy Joe, says Bob McElroy. Are you a Sleepy Joe fan, Bob? Uh, congratulations to Stuart and being captain of the British and Irish Lions on Saturday. Tartan John, absolutely. From the US, don't create divisions in society with too many here. Believe in the UK, reform, don't destroy. Well, that would need to go back to the basis of the union and make sure it's absolutely 50-50. So the Scottish First Minister has the same power as the Prime Minister in London and Westminster. Equality. Yeah, that's, that's how it should have been. Oh, that's absolutely gorgeous, guys. England, you're out. It's dinner time. Have a good evening, Scotty. Hashtag foot high. Ah, love it, Scotty. You're a lovely man. Pity my dad wasn't still with us. He'd be amazed by this. Bless you, Paddy. What a top man. Hello, Lord McClue. Hello, Jackie. Hello, Scotty. I've been taking some classes and been so busy. Hope you're well. The real Rory. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty, what part of Scotland are you from? We're from the West Coast. UK is a proud history. Envy you guys. Don't destroy it. Just reform. UK is only 313 years old. Scotland's had a monarchy for 2,347 years. <laughs> There we go. Scotty, have you done much research on Longshanks? Oh, yes. All Scots sound very British with your accents. John invest in Bitcoin in the UK. How the government has been paying furlough using it. Interesting. Sierra Leone is the Gold Coast. Yes, indeed. Uh, US will happily help preserve the Union and help you all out. Well, would you happily um, back an independent Scotland and help us all out? Scotty, it's Jane here. John's given me Leslie's phone to let you all know. Lerwick guy, thank you. Uh, Jane, Lerwick girl, Jane, thank you. Lord Scotty, why are you not in the House of Lords? Well, I don't, I think the House of Lords is worth its weight in gold. I really, really do. Outstanding. You're all part of American history. You're like our old grandparents in the UK. Glesney sadly passed away in the early hours of yesterday morning. Jane, I'm heartbroken. I send you so much love and so much strength. This is awful news. I, I can't say anything that will bring her back. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but I'm so happy that I knew of her. I'm so happy that she took us through little Ella's birth. Folks, you must be absolutely heartbroken, but I can only send you so much love. She's only in the next room. Please hug, hug John for me. Oh, and little Ellie. Glesney will have left all of you courage to carry on. She would not want you all absolutely devastated. We send you so much love, so much strength. We are in a circle. Huge hug. The one thing I do feel is that she won't have to suffer pain. She's pain free. And she sounded such a beautiful, beautiful person. 
Please hug John from the world. May Glesney rest in peace and rise in glory. May her sun always shine. May her love always live in your hearts and in your minds. May we give thanks for Glesney. May we give thanks for the hearts and the minds that she filled with joy, the lives that she touched. May little Ella know the love that her mum had for her. Can we give thanks to Glesney? Thanks to you, Jane, for letting us know and for being around. Thanks to John for being in touch. Thanks for all the fun and all the laughter that Glesney created on this TikTok Live. Bless her. Thank you, folks, for joining us tonight. We've just heard that Larwick Girl, Lerwick Girl, I say, has passed away. Uh, she was diagnosed with leukemia yesterday. She just had a little baby a couple of weeks ago, and then they reckon she had an infection, but it was the leukemia, and she has passed away. That's because, what have we got here? She's grown so close to you all. Absolutely, Jane, thank you. I was disgusted that Nicola didn't curtsy to the Queen. What are your thoughts? Well, Jackie, it's just proper formal behaviour that you curtsy to the Queen. Now, being a Scot, uh, we don't bow and scrape to anyone, but we have health and respect, and were I meeting the Queen, I would bow like this. There we are. That's what I would do. So there we go. I'm, I think Nicola might have cutsied Jackie. Maybe you missed it. I can't imagine her not cutsying. Uh, a shout out from Australia. Love your stuff. Mitchell, thank you so much. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. What do we have to do to get you back on air? I don't know, Paddy. I think the problem is that media people have become so risk averse that their own businesses are disappearing. I had a discussion with a top media person once, and I said, you need to seriously get into social media. I said, well, we, we have got pages for social media, but we tend to concentrate on our core business. And I said to them, if you are not careful, in a year or two's time, you could wake up one morning and your core business has gone. And I think that's what's happening for a lot of mainstream media. The people have had enough and they're saying, we don't need all that boring stuff. We'll get it on our phones. That's why Scotty McClue is so big. That's why Scotty McClue has done so well. I would love if TikTok would back me 100% and send it around every TikToker. You know, I would love that. And then you don't need to go near another television or radio station again. My family owned property across the pond in the UK. We're worried and depends and we'll crash the market. No, no. User, you'll never crash the market. I can remember saying to a very senior person, what difference does it make if it's this government or that government? They said, uh, none at all. So there you go. So no, you're not be crashing any markets. The Queen is loved in the US. The Queen is adored in Scotland. I can tell you that. RIP Scotty, sending respects. Yes, and user 893, thank you. What's happened says Callan? Uh, Lerwick Gal passed away, one of our favourites on here. In the early hours of the morning, Jane has just let us know. What's going on? Dasmas Lerwick Gal has passed away. What's actually happening here? Larry Gall has passed away. 
So there we go. I leave the live respectfully and let you mourn privately together. R.I.P. Not at all. Uh, Glasley would never have that. She wouldn't want people to be upset and to go into mourning. Stay with the live. That's what she would want. Prayers are with you, my boy. Thanks, Nathan. Absolutely. She's one of us on TikTok, same as you and I. You know, absolutely. That's so sad. It is, Nathan. R.I.P. R.I.P. says, Glan. Share the video. Thank you so much. Not at all, Jane. Thank you. And as I say, we send you all the strength in the world. And I just know, I'd never met Klesney. I've never spoken to her. We just do our live stuff. We do nonsense. But she obviously enjoys nonsense. And she sends her love to live on. It will live on. You know, I, I just know she wouldn't want people, you know, to be so, so upset. Uh, she's with the Lord now and in a much better place, is Nathan. Uh, uh, she didn't cut to Scotty. It was in the news. Does she not even manage a wee bob? You see, in Scotland, a curtsy is a bob. And there's a tune called, and then she bob it. So if you're talking broad Scots to Nicola, you'd say, Her Majesty's coming to see us. Make sure you bob it. Yes, absolutely. So that's what I would have done. And the other thing is, of course, Nicola has to swear allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen as First Minister because it's Her Majesty's government, isn't it? There we are. She has graciously granted parliamentary sovereignty to the people of Scotland. Talk radio is always live on YouTube. Yes, well, they are. The new radio stations realise they need to embrace social media. Uh, why can't you run a show from here? We can, Paddy. We just need to get the message out there that it's on. The reason I haven't got millions watching right now, I've had 600,000 over the last six weeks, but the reason I haven't got millions watching right now, like the little count at the top is in single figures at the moment, it should say 1 million, 2 million. And that's because nobody knows about us. Get the word out there. And we can. You're right, Scotty. Yes, indeed. We are indeed. Scotty, what do you call skinheads on a raft? The beans on toast. <laughs> New shot reveal yesterday. Find out. Sponsored by TikTok next season. On sale from today. Lord Davis. Fantastic. George Davis. Uh, how's the dinky do? Have you only five years? Just right at the moment. But I was just saying, I mean, everybody's having that. It's up and I'm just about to go. But I was just explaining that, uh, you know, 600,000 have seen us over the last six weeks. So get following, get sharing, and join in. Guys, I'll have to dash. I'll sing you the goodbye song. And this is for Glesney. I am dedicating this to Glesney and to her beautiful family and to little Lella and to John and to Jane. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Au revoir, Zane. Au revoir and a cheery o. Bye for now, Glesney, little angel. Bless you. I'll see you later, guys. Ta-ra, lads. Dinky-do.